Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're exploring how to find sensitive data like secrets keys and credentials in JavaScript files. Remember, always get proper authorization before testing any website. This is purely for educational purposes. Let's dive in. First, let's start by manually checking JavaScript files on a source page. Open the page and press Ctrl plus F to search for .js files. As you can see, we've got so many results for .js files on the current page. Click on some URLs and you'll notice that they contain a lot of data. Now, instead of manually checking each file, let's make it easier. I'm using the Lazy Egg extension to pull all the JS files that are available on the website. Copy all these URLs and paste them into a multiple URL opener extension. This will load all the JavaScript endpoint URLs, and you can check them one by one. Once you have opened a JS file, search for keywords like API, token, password, JWT, or secret. If any of them are there, you can easily find them, but checking these files one by one manually takes too much time. So now, I will show you a better method that combines both manual and automated approaches. Let's close these all tabs. And for faster manual process, try the endpointer extension. This extension detects endpoints vulnerable for this page and linked JavaScript files. Let's turn on the auto parser button and refresh the web page. Click on the extension. After that, press on panel button. You can get here all endpoints on this current web page. You can filter them by source and web page. It also shows all endpoints with classifications, making it easier to test and find bugs. You can search for keywords like secret, API, JWT, token, keys, or passwords. If these are found at the endpoints, they'll be displayed. You can also check the request and response of each endpoint to see further details directly in your browser with all the request method. Also, you can directly check these endpoints in the browser to do further testing. Now, let's dive into automation part. Much easier process. First, I'm creating a directory named Samsung to keep all the files organized. Then, I'll use Katana to fetch all the JavaScript files actively present on the website. This command saves the data in a file and shows everything on the screen while it's running. I'm using a depth of 5 to collect more endpoints. I'm stopping the scan early to keep this video short, but you can let it finish for a complete list of endpoints. After the scan, now let's check how many endpoints we have identified using this command. Additionally, you can observe that all the endpoints end with .js allows us to refine the results by applying a grep filter for .js. Next, I'm using GAU for passive crawling. This tool fetches passive URLs from all available sources. I'm combining it with the new tool to merge results with Katana's output and remove duplicates. It also displays the results on the screen. As you can see, we've got even more endpoints now. I interrupted the process, but it can go up to 50,000 entries if you let it run. To filter these URL endpoints further, I'm using HTTPX. This tool helps refine results with the euro and sort new commands to remove duplicates and keep only unique and valid URLs.
After filtering, we've narrowed it down to just 324 unique URLs. Now, let's extract hidden links and sensitive information from the JavaScript files. For this, I'm using the JS Leak tool, which combines Secret Finder and Link Finder. This tool extracts links from .js files, including secrets like API keys and passwords. Running the command will display the hidden links, secret keys, and their status codes. As you can see, we have some interesting results here, including hidden links and potential secret leaks. Check these carefully and test them on the endpoints to verify. To take it further, I'm using a custom nuclei template for sensitive credential scanning. The template contains rejects patterns to detect API keys, tokens, and other credentials. Ensure you paste the correct path where you saved the template. Running it gives you the results, several API keys, and other sensitive data. For this demo, I scanned just a few URLs, but a full scan will give you much more results. Once you've found a key, you copy it, open up the URL and look for the key to get an idea of how and what it does. You can also paste these .js files into ChatGPT for better understanding. You can improve your results by using the Nuclei custom template in the Exposer directory. This will provide more accurate and comprehensive results, including all types of API keys along with their corresponding disclosure names. I cancelled the scan because it takes a considerable amount of time, but you can wait for it to finish. Finally, I'm using Lazy Egg Tool to find secrets, credentials, domains, hidden endpoints, and even IP addresses. Run this command and wait for the results. As you can see, it identifies hidden endpoints, URLs, domains, and credentials if they're found in .js files. In this example, it didn't find much because we tested fewer URLs, but by using tools like Subfinder to gather subdomains, you can expand your scan for more results. LazyEgg can also help in finding origin IPs, helping you uncover more information. I hope you guys found this method helpful for your bug hunting journey and makes the process easier and more efficient. Let me know if you found this useful. That's a wrap for today's video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the exciting content we have coming your way. We've got plenty of engaging topics lined up that you won't want to miss. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.